How's it going, Rogues Alley, and welcome to another card game video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, we are talking about all things We Cross. And you might be asking yourself, what is We Cross? That looks very anime like, and I'm gonna say, yes, it is very, very anime like. Um, in fact, there is an anime for this trading card game. We Cross, and that's how you say it, it's actually a smash up of Wish Cross has officially had an English translation announcement coming winter 2021. And I am really, really excited for this. This is a very cool game if you're into this kind of aesthetic. So in today's video, we're gonna show you basically all aspects of We Cross, what it is. Um, we're not really gonna talk about how to play, though I do have some tips on how to learn how to play, and we'll go over that when we get to the top down. I'll show you some uh, resources that you can do just on your smartphone on how to play, because there's kind of like a little mobile app that you can do that will teach you how to play. It's mostly in Japanese, but it does have an English bit which will teach you how to play. These here are some of the older products. These are like theme decks, starter decks, that kind of stuff that I have just sealed in my collection. This is my favorite character, uh, Guzico. Dude, she, she's like a succubus playing guitar. She's awesome. But those are not the cards that are getting translated. What are getting translated are the brand new Diva Set cards. And so it's gonna start with these two starter decks. So we have this one, the Niji Sanji starter deck, as well as this starter deck, if we can get that in focus. So it's gonna be these two starter decks and the very first set of the D.Va format. And currently there are three We Cross formats. There's the original format. Uh, I know a lot of folks call it like All Star or something like that. There's the key format. And if you've watched any of my other We Cross videos before, almost all of those videos are for the key format. And then there's the brand new um, D.Va format. And so it's gonna start off at the D.Va format. I believe there are currently, as of the time of this filming, four or five main sets out in the D.Va format in Japanese, and we're just gonna start with the first one. So what are we gonna do to today's video? Well, I'm gonna open up this starter deck, and I'm gonna open up this starter deck to kind of show you what you're gonna be getting in the English release, because they're gonna be the same. There are some things we do not know about the English release. We don't know the distribution model, though I highly suspect that is just gonna be straight through the Takara Tommy um, online store or through Amazon. That's kind of how you do it in Japan. And so that's kind of how I assume you would get it here in the United States. I also don't know the exact release date. They just said winter 2021. And I also don't know if they're going to be censoring this because We Cross is a game that I can see them censoring here in the West. Um, and that's because, let's try to focus here. This isn't exactly the, the pinnacle of the lewdness. We'll, we'll go over some stuff. But um, I would say We Cross is pretty shameless when it comes to um, basically just lewdness. We're just gonna, we're just gonna call it lewdness. It's, it's pretty shameless. But if all of this sounds great to you, if you see this artwork and you're like, hell yeah, then buckle up because we're gonna be opening up this starter deck as well as this starter deck but that's not all. I figured what better way to introduce you to We Cross than to actually open up a booster box of We Cross. So we're also gonna be opening up this booster box, Collision. And as you can see, it does have some Niji Sanji like VTuber characters and that kind of stuff in it. I have opened up one of these off screen and you know what, like I said, these are a lot of fun. These are a lot of fun and some of the cards here are worth a decent amount of money in the Japanese market. This is a pretty popular game in Japan. Not huge, but still pretty popular. And I think, like I said, if you like this art style, I think this will be a game for you because the card quality and the art are absolutely phenomenal. They are top notch, absolutely top notch. So without further ado, let's get into the top down and we're gonna open up those decks, this box, and we're gonna kind of show off some of the other We Cross stuff. I'm gonna show off a little bit of the anime. I'm gonna show off some cards, some expensive cards that I have to kind of give you a, a full breadth of what We Cross is so you can be prepared for it when it comes to uh, North America later this year, you know, winter 2021. And I do believe it's only North America. It's getting translated into English, North America. I believe that's what the translation from Japanese was. But either way, I'm really excited. You know, having more games, having, you know, more unique type games, um, I'm down for it. So let's get started. All right, so here you can see an absolute 
ton of stuff, probably an overwhelming amount of stuff, but we're going to cover these really, really quickly just to kind of catch you up on what we cross is what kind of products are out there and what you can be looking for so the, i think the first thing that we should look at and probably the most important thing are the card quality in the cards like so this is um basically the remnants of a booster box that i recently opened up and i just kind of want to give you a quick idea of what you're getting into here so this is a, a textured um lr so an l rig rare we also have this which is a a, a secret rare from the set very very beautiful once again you can kind of see like the texturing here the foiling you know that catches the light a little bit better you can catch this one a little bit better too really 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 top-notch quality so this is the kind of quality you're looking for from a card game especially with anime art we cross is the game for you this is what a super rare looks like um, they almost always have this kind of like broken glass kind of foiling and you can see once again like the art style here and then here is another different kind of L rig card. Very, very beautiful cards here. And then here's another like super rare. And like I said, this is kind of the stuff that you can expect to get into with Wii Cross. These are some coin cards and some other cards. And so we're gonna go through a full booster box a little bit later, and uh, that'll give you even, even better idea, an even better idea, I can say it properly, of what this game looks like. So let's take out this stack here and let's look at some other stuff. So this is the starter deck we're gonna open up. This one we're also gonna open up. These two will be translated into English first, um, in addition to a booster box, the first booster box of the D.Va format. This is the second booster box of the D.Va format, even though it is labeled P1. There is a zero zero, so it starts at zero zero. And this is what a Wii Cross booster box looks like, at least in Japanese. Um, they typically have a little, um, a piece of tape right here, as well as this, though they don't always have this thing that says box here. They sometimes do. Mostly it's just a little piece of tape. And that's it. They don't have shrink wrap like Force of Will or Flesh and Blood or Magic the Gathering or Pokemon or anything like that. They don't have shrink wrap. They just come like this. Um, and you can kind of see, once again, some of the art style here. Kind of what you're getting into. These are some of the new characters in the D.Va format. And I think they all look pretty cool, actually. So that's this. This box is actually opened up. Um, so we're not going to be opening up that one today. We are going to be opening up this one, the Collision Booster Box. And this one has some, also some very cool artwork here. And once again, you can see, this is one of the main characters, Tama, from the anime. This is Pyroluke, my other favorite character. I would say Guzuko, that uh, succubus-looking girl, and um, uh, Pyroluke are my two favorite characters. So, that is that. These decks are the other decks for the um, D.Va format that will eventually, hopefully, be translated into English. Um, these decks came out shortly after these two. So it was these two and then these four here. So let's kind of take a look at them really, really quickly in no particular order. I'm not gonna kind of show off too much. It's just kind of like the art here and these are the three main um, L-Rigs for that. An L-Rig is an anagram of girl Every single card in Wii Cross, for the most part, is an anime girl. So if that's something that's you're like, hell yeah, then yeah. Once again, Wii Cross then is gonna be for you. And these are like main characters here. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into the story, but I do think the anime is quite good. Um, I I really really like at least um, the first three or four seasons. I haven't watched any of the diva anime stuff, but. I do have some of the anime here. So it's called Selector Infected Wii Cross. There's also like Selector Spread Wii Cross. I think the first three or four seasons are great. Um, and you can buy them in English, like how I have here. Um, this is the main character and then her like best friend. And then they play Wii Cross. So this is a game, or this is a anime that's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh in that they play a game. But if Yu-Gi-Oh stayed super dark like it did in its uh, season zero, then that's Wii Cross. The Wii Cross anime is psychological horror. It is dark. It is really dark. It's kind of like um, Madoka Magica in that way. So this is the, the first season um, as well as the second season. And like I said, I really like this series. I think it's good. And these were like not too expensive for me to buy. So I bought them, watched them over a year ago, I would say. 
At least I think this is the second season. I don't remember exactly. Maybe it's the third season and the second season. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but I do remember it being really, really good. And I watched all of it and um, it, it, it's quite good. I won't spoil the story here. Just know it's called We Cross, which means wish cross for a reason. The girls, and they're all girls, um, except for one of the seasons, but once again, I won't get into that. Um, they are here to fulfill their wish. But like I said, it's like Madoka Magic and it's very dark. So yeah, I highly recommend that if you have time, it's not a very long series. So before we get started, I do wanna show off kind of like some of the, the pinnacle of We Cross. I think this card here is one of the best cards in the game right now. It's like a $30 card, at least $30 uh, USD. I believe it is 3000 yen or something like that. Um, all the cards here I have set aside are worth over uh, 10 bucks. Oh, there we go. That's, that's the right lighting. I figured that out before. Yeah. Um, these are all worth over 10 bucks. Um, some of these cards are for, it's like these three are for the D.Va format. Um, these ones are not, so these are some of the older cards. And once again, here you can see like some of the artwork here. And like I said, I don't know if any of this is going to get censored. I don't know if any of this is going to get censored for the English release. I hope not. Um, I'm generally against censorship in general. Um, especially if there's like, doesn't hurt anyone. And I don't think this hurts anyone. So, um, yeah, I really hope it doesn't get censored. Oh, here's Pure Luke, one of my favorite characters. And then this is, I believe this is Merlin. This is Merlin, busty Merlin. Uh, some of the cards are uh, pretty funny. I actually really like, they're, they're pretty funny. She's like a, is she a bridge? I don't remember exactly what she is, but like they're, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can see stuff like this. Yeah, yep, yep. So like, like I said, these are, uh, yep, yep. Uh, these are the kind of art that you can expect in We Cross. Um, not as shiny. Uh, these are these are kind of promos, like pretty nice, expensive promos. Oh, here's Perry Luke again. Once again, really like Perry Luke. So yeah, this is kind of what you can expect from We Cross. All right, so let's clean this up a little bit, and we'll start opening some product. Let's start with the smaller of the decks, and then we will kind of progress our way up to the booster box. This is going to be a little bit longer video than normal. I typically don't have my We Cross videos be this long. We're going to also zoom in a little bit, and. Um, yeah, we'll get started. I haven't made any Wii Cross videos for a while, and the sole reason for that is um, because it's in Japanese. And after a while, it's just kind of like, you can't read the cards, can't really play the game. And me, I'm a player more than I am a collector for card games. And so if I can't play it, then after a while, even though I do like collecting it, after a while, it just becomes not as enjoyable. All right, so here we have uh, the deck and shrink wrap, and we have like a learn to play kind of guide here. So let's take these out and uh, get started. These decks are usually pretty cheap. At least they are in Japanese. And if they are being distributed through to Karatomi, then um, they're probably gonna be pretty cheap for the English release too. Let's zoom back out a little bit. Kind of get this, uh, this game mat going. Oh, I do wanted to mention, I'll do it after this, where you can go to learn to play Wii Cross um, because it's a pretty fun game. As you can see, this is all in Japanese. Of course, in the English version, this would be translated into English. But uh, yeah, those, those some of the cards are in English here. Check Zone, um, Elrig Zone, that kind of stuff. It reminds me a lot of Vanguard, actually. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the, the, the game field here. You, you, you basically choose an Elrig, and they're kind of like your main character for your deck. So you can kind of think of it like a hero from Flesh and Blood, a ruler, from Force of Will, Commander from Magic the Gathering, that kind of thing. Your Elrig is like your main character for your deck and they actually grow and gain levels as you play. And those are, you know, take the form of cards. And you'll see here, this is a level zero Elrig. But before we get into this, like I said, let me grow grab my phone, grow grab, I'm gonna grab my phone and we will pull it on screen here. So here I have the Google Play Store. All you have to do is go to search and search for We Cross. I already searched for it. And it is the top result. It's the one from Memotype Corporation. That's the official We Cross app. It is mostly in Japanese, but there is an English tutorial. So, oh, look at that, Shadowverse, fantastic. So let me actually show you it real quick and then um, We'll, we'll get opening some product here. So let's open this up. And like I said, I have played this. It's been a, quite a while, actually. I played it almost over a year ago. But um, 
sure. Yeah, sure. I should probably say no to those, but sure, we're doing it for the video. Okay, let's do it. It's got a, it's got a patch. Doing it real time. All right, here we go. We cross. Um, yes. Okay, no, 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 no. Not. We don't want that. Let's go back. Let's go back to this. There we go. There we go. Okay. So from here, let's try to figure out where to go for English. I believe it's down here that says rule teaching. And then there should be an option to play it in English. So it would seem that they got rid of the English part because this was the deck down here that they uh, let you play in English. It was the, uh, the Pyrrhaluk deck and they seem to have updated it with all of the new characters and I don't know how to choose the old deck to learn how to play. You can learn how to play any of the new decks in Japanese, but I don't speak Japanese. If you click any of the decks, it's just all in Japanese, which is, uh, which is kind of a bummer. So, with that said, perhaps maybe in the future I will do a how to play Wii Cross video. That video is not for today. Uh, I know there are some other ones on YouTube. I would recommend checking those out in the meantime, but, um, yeah, I, I don't think there's a way to do it from this app, unfortunately. If there is, and I'm missing something, please let me know. But uh, I, I can't see anything from here, which is a which is a huge bummer. So uh, that is that. Let's just get opening up some cards. All right, so that was a long tangent for me. Probably not all that long for you, because I probably just cut it out and was like, there, there it is, can't, can't do it, which is a huge bummer. Um, there's a pull tab here that I, I can't seem to get. Um, there we go. And uh, yeah, like I said, huge bummer. Um, you were able to, to do it in English uh, not too long ago, so they must have updated it since the, the, the new format came out. So anyway, let's look at this starter deck with this new character. She's like a Azure cat girl. So this is a level zero Elrig, and throughout the course of the game, you actually level up your Elrig over time. So they start level zero with no abilities, and then they get bigger over time. This number down here is basically like the, the power of the creatures you can play, or the, um, I'm just gonna call them creatures. We're not gonna use official terminology in this video. Um, and as you can see, they just kind of like get bigger over time. Uh, looks like they, this one maxes out to three here. I know four and five exist. So it starts out at zero, goes to one, two, and then three. And then here is another one, which is very interesting. Um, maybe you can have two? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the this new format works. Um, these are all L-Rig cards, and these all go in a special L-Rig deck. Hmm, interesting. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to be censoring any of this. I do not know. Um, oh, she gets up to, to two as well. Huh, very interesting. So these ones all have a, a special back, right? So the L-Rig cards have a special back. They go into your L-Rig deck. I'm not sure about this one. I'm not sure what this card's for. It's probably like a very special card that you have outside the game or something. I'm not entirely sure because it does have a different card back. So it probably doesn't go in your L-Rig deck. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's these. Uh, normally you have your L-Rig. Um, they don't technically go in your deck. Like you don't draw these, you, you kind of play them from the L-Rig deck, typically. Like you don't shuffle them up and draw them. Um, you can kind of choose what to play and when. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at some of the cards here. And like I said, some of the cards are all anime girls and sometimes they're quite ridiculous. They're usually anime girls that are also things, like objects like, or creatures or monsters or something like that. So like, this one's like, I don't know, tea? <laughs> She's like, tea? I don't know, I guess. I guess. Um, not sure this one is. She's just cute and punching. I like her skull on her shirt. Uh, this one is very, very sparkly. And you like, once again, you can kind of see the art here. Um, they have uh, really, really good quality art. Even if you're not like a huge fan of the art style in particular, um, they pay a lot of uh, attention to just making it look good. You know, things going over the frame, all that kind of stuff. Then just look at this. Just look at the starter deck card. Looks fantastic. Looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and I do know the starter decks for at least, you know, the ones that I've opened up tend to be pretty consistent. You tend to get full play sets of everything, which is fantastic. And I do know there are some other starter decks. Oh, this is a, a two color card. That's pretty cool. Um, 
<laughs> oh my god. And you can see like some of the art style. Um, there's some variations. There's some cute cutesiness. That one looks awesome. That looks really cool. Um, I know the decks typically have like pretty um, um, key key cards to them too. So yeah, so this was this deck. I'm not, once again, not really 100% sure how good it is or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's this one. And then next let's open up the more, I guess you can call it like the premium deck, the, the Niji Sanji deck that uses uh, the likeness of some VTubers. I'm not really sure who they are. I'll be completely honest right here, right here, right now. I don't really watch VTubers. I'm only familiar with a couple of them. I know a couple of the English ones. Um, the only one that I've even watched a little of is Mori Calliope, Calliope. And that's just cause I've seen like her rap. She's pretty cool. Um, but I'm not like super into like VTuber stuff. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what this is. And then here is the, the back. This is also just another game mat. Same kind of deal that we saw before. This is, oh dude, some sleeves. Nice, that's kind of cool. Not enough sleeves to actually sleeve up your deck, but really cool sleeves and nevertheless, maybe to put some of your, you know, really fancy cards in. You can put them in these sleeves. That's pretty cool. They usually throw in something a little extra, especially in the booster boxes. We'll throw in like a little, little extra thing. So yeah, oh, it's still uh, got more tape. Um, I do appreciate that these don't have the little, um, pull tab things around the decks like many Bushi Road games have, because I feel that they not only kind of damage the cards, but just kind of like, eh, not great in general. Um, so here we have the two, uh, the two little decks here. Um, I think there's enough here for two decks, though I'm not a hundred percent sure. Once again, I do not speak or read Japanese. So um, let's open up this one first, I would guess. We're gonna zoom in a little bit more too because we want to feature the cards dead center. Uh, let's see, there we go. I, I swear finding the pull tab and opening the pull tab is the hardest part of this kind of stuff, especially because I don't wanna damage the cards I couldn't get it, so I resulted. I resorted to a knife. Um, couldn't get it. All right, so we'll uh, eat that to the floor, and we'll take a look at this. Um, really, really pretty artwork here. And I'm not familiar with these characters, like I said. So this would be like the level zero Elrig, and then she levels up into this. Looks fantastic. I mean, just look at that. That is so nice. And these are decks that will be translated into English. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then here is this one. Hmm, you must have some like sort of partner system or something like that. Cause it, yeah, there must be some sort of partner system because it still has zero here for the number of um, dudes you can play. But this one has like a plus one to it. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably like some sort of partner system because you know, it's a, they're divas, they're on stage together. I think that's kind of the vibe. I really like the art in that one. Really, really cool. And here we have this. Once again, really cool, and it has the Niji Sanji logo. Um, I imagine a lot of these are gonna be like Niji Sanji themed. I heard that, oh my God, dude, look at the art. It's so, so nice. This deck has um, much nicer art than the other one. Though I'm not sure how much support they put out for the, the Niji Sanji characters in terms of like card support, but like the quality, the artwork and the quality is like phenomenal for this kind of stuff. Like absolutely phenomenal. So like we'll put this one on top because it, it is, it's very nice. Like, look at that, dude. It's very nice. So once again, if you are into anime, if you're into this sort of aesthetic and you like card games, you should be excited for this. I think you will really dig this. Um, there, like I said, the Japanese market, there's a um, healthy Japanese market for these card games. Um, oh, it's one of these cards. Yeah, you do probably, Hold on, let's actually get that in focus. You do probably have these like in your deck or something to the side. Really like the art in this card too. Let's actually get it in frame. Really, really nice. Oh, and I love the, I love the dual color ones. I haven't seen too many dual color cards. Hmm. I don't really think they were a thing in the key set, the key format. I love bunny, bunny with a shield. Really nice. 
We got a big old cat paw. Cat paw. Ooh, and this is like maybe an alternate? These are other Elric cards. Hmm, interesting. So these are other ones you can play. Really, really cool. I mean, like, just take a, I mean, you know, you know if you like this already, right? You see this stuff, you're either like, yes, give me more, or you're like, nope, not my thing. Weeb stuff, weeb stuff. Oh, just look at that, dude. Cat girl. I like, I like this character quite a bit too, though she doesn't have a level zero here. Hmm. I like the cat girl as well. She's, she's awesome. And then we have this one. And this one, <laughs> look, at the, look at the bird, look at the little bird. So yeah, I mean, this is what you're getting into. This is gonna be one of the starter decks that will be in English. Um, once again, I don't know how, like, you, how much you mix these up or if you just pick and choose kind of what you're doing or if they're separate decks. I really don't know, really don't know. But what I do know is the art's fantastic and I cannot wait to play these in English. You can bet that I will be getting some and playing with them um, and covering them on the channel here. So yeah, look forward to that. Um, so yeah, both of these decks will be um, in English. I'm really excited for this one though. The, the card quality seems to be absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna kind of put them like this so I can remember which cards belong to which. And let's open up this booster box. It's been quite a while since I opened up a We Cross booster box and the official English release announcement, we don't have a date yet, was enough for me to make another Wheatcross video. So like I said, just has tape here. There's no other packaging at all on this, just the tape, that's it. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, that's just how it is for all of them. Um, they don't have like the security tape or whatever, um, but oops, there we go. But the thing is, and you can be like, oh, what about counterfeit stuff? I mean, find me a printer who can counterfeit like this. Like counterfeit, the counterfeit that. I don't know, man. All right. So this is kind of like a little box topper thing that comes with um, like these little punch out tokens. Uh, almost every single box that we cross comes with this. We also have some beautiful sleeves featuring um, my girl Piraluke and Eldora, I think is her name. Yeah, so these are sweet. I will probably open these up and sleeve some of the cards that we get out of here in these sleeves. So really, really cool. And then here we have our booster packs and we're just gonna take these out of here and get started. Like I said, this is a, it's a really fun game to open. Um, the cards are beautiful if you're into this kind of stuff. And I keep saying that, but I mean, I can't stress it enough because I know we have a, a huge like uh, Western audience here and I know there's gonna be people who are just like, I'm not into that which is totally fine. If you're not into that, then you're not into that. But if you are, stay tuned, because we are gonna be, we are gonna be getting into this. Um, so yeah, let's just open this up. I know a lot of folks will collect these, these kind of things, but um, we are just gonna open them up. Probably not gonna have enough sleeves to sleeve up all of the really nice cards, but that's all right, that's all right. And so here we have the booster pack, and let's just start. We're, we've already, this video is already long enough. Um, Easily my longest one. I've also noticed there's no real set pattern for the way the booster packs are between sets, so we're just gonna have to go through it and see. Uh, you can tell the rarity down here with a C. You can see this is a key, so this is for the key format. This is not one of the sets that's gonna be reprinted um, in English, at least not that I know of yet. Um, so these are all commons. You can see the, the artwork here, a rare um, little fairy girl. We have an Elrig card. Uh, with really nice artwork, it's LC, so it's an Elric Common as well. Ooh, nice rare. So we have uh, the same character actually that we saw in that Niji Sanji deck. But this one is not an Elric, you can tell by the back. This is a card that you summon. I think they're called Signy, but don't quote me, I don't remember. I don't remember 100%. It, it's a creature, we'll call it a creature. We'll call it a minion, a dude. It's a dude that you can summon. Um, and so, yeah. <laughs> And so let's just go. She's got like some some scissors, and like here you can see some of the some of the more bra brash artwork. Um, I do like the Egyptian theme there, and I also like the the demon theme here. Um, just just kind of thick. I don't know, man. Uh, I really like the art on this one here. These are the clashing, really cool. And then here we have another rare. You can have multiple rares per pack. Um, and then we have a Niji Sanji common here. We'll put that in its own little pile. We'll put all of the foils in their own uh, 
do their own thing. If you are a patron of mine, by the way, uh, and you want a Wii Cross card, let me know. Maybe I'll send you a Wii Cross card, like something like this, um, this coming month. So, yeah, anyway, that's another Egyptian kind of looking one. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And like, oh my God, little block penguin. Yeah, another one, look at that. Look at that. This is like, uh, I don't know, Frozen? She's, it's got a, she's got a freaking, ooh, this one's really cute too. Um, antelope, deer, it's a deer, <laughs> reindeer. I don't know why I called it an antelope. Uh, this is another Niji Sanji card with fantastic artwork. Ooh, first, super rare. Really nice, really, really nice. So we will sleeve up this one. Any of the foils will get sleeves. But I can tell you the sleeves are usually kind of hard to, they're hard to actually like sleeve in. Well, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. All right, what is this by the way? What even is this? I don't know. She's like a construct piece of construction equipment. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. So yeah, 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 yeah. That one's really cool, like the fire. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in that one. Uh, I really like this archer girl. This looks like a Dark Souls boss. Um, she's just having a good time. That's a rare. Another rare, this is a loaded pack. She looks like a, like some sort of some of mystery or something. We have a Niji Sanji common, and then a foil common. I'm not gonna sleeve up the foil commons yet, but that is very nice. We'll put that, hmm, we'll put that down here. I have a feeling we're gonna get overrun by foil cards though. So I wanna be very selective, very, very selective in the cards that I pick to go in the sleeves. If she's sparkly, she's sparkly. Oh, we're like riding the horse, dude. Riding the d -Lu horse. I, she's just, she's just got a goop. She's got a goop coming on her. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Tracer. Uh, that looks really cool. She's got like wings and stuff. I dig it. And then she's like, in a jar, I'm not sure. And then another Niji Sanji. And I think that completes the the trilogy of there. We got we got Cat Girl, uh, Angel Girl, and Other Girl. Probably should be putting these in their own separate pile. But yeah, there you go. I think it's like like literally like that. Yeah, nice. Got them all. Collect them all. Some of the older sets, I believe have every, every pack has foils. Um, and some of the other sets, ooh, got her again, what's up? Some of the other sets, they're like all foil. I really like the art in this one. Looks like a cool, cool demon lady. Is a cat mink? I don't know, dude, <laughs> she's got a tail, man, I don't know. I have a Niji Sanji card, and then a, ooh, this is, wait, what is this? It's an RE, hmm. So I think it's like a special rarity or something. Hmm, I really don't know. It's an RE. Well, I'm gonna put it in a sleeve. It's kind of a different foiling. I don't know, it might be like a one per box kind of deal. I don't remember off the top of my head, but she, <laughs> well, I don't even know what she's supposed to be. It's hard to tell, because sometimes you're like, oh, that's what this is. Are those mics? Those are like microphones or something? I don't know. I don't know. She's a power gamer. We'll say she's a she's, she's a power gamer. Put her there. All right, we're gonna keep going. Um, so yeah, this is the kind of stuff you can expect with We Cross. I will be purchasing um, some of the other sets. In fact, I have literally purchased one of all of the Japanese um, Diva sets, a booster box of all of them. So I got those coming. I'm not sure if I'm gonna open them up, but you know, there's a very good chance that I will. Like the witchy lady. Especially if this video does well, and people want to see more We Cross stuff, I will oblige. As I'm going full time on the channel, I will be opening, uh, doing a little bit more variety. I will say, not a ton. Ooh, I really like. I really like the blue cards. Really like the blue cards. Like the aesthetic. I don't know, like gameplay wise, if I'm gonna like the blue cards. We got another L rig here. Not getting a ton of those so far. So getting L rig seems to be pretty good. We have another one of her. She's really cute. And then we have, ooh, look at that, <laughs> look at that, dude. That's a super rare. You can usually tell by the foiling. Yeah. And she's like a spider or something? Hmm. I dig it. I don't remember exactly what the, the really expensive cards are from this set. I remember there were a couple. I remember them being the Niji Sanji characters. 
to be completely honest. So I don't remember if that was a good pull. I don't think it was, but I don't know. Um, if you want to look up prices on We Cross cards, I think the best place to go for that is Yuyute, which is a Japanese website, and you'll have to translate it, like get Google Translate to do it for you. Um, so we have uh, Daha. We have this one, which is uh, oh, it's pretty cool. Sitting on like a time bomb kind of thing. We have this one. I'm pretty sure I have a foil one of this. And then we have, ooh, another foil. <laughs> she's got a, she's like a gumball machine. All right, the foil gumball machine. Let's put the other cards over to the side. All right. So yeah, let me know what you think of We Cross. Um, this is gonna be like my 15th or something like that. We Cross video on the channel. Really like the art in that card. But I wanted to make this one into more of an all encompassing, like what is We Cross? You know, what to look for and uh, ooh. And like, you know, checking out the, the English stuff. So this is another super rare. Nice. Once again, don't really know which which ones are the big the big hits or not. Um, I think I sold a good good chunk of them when I opened them um, in my own spare time because um, I was able to sell them for a decent amount. So yeah, just just riding that D, riding that D Lou horse. Ooh, I think we got some shiny stuff in the background here. I really like the art in this uh, like spear girl. Really cool. Uh, that's really cute. Just T Tama and uh, Yurith playing volleyball. Just playing some good old fashioned volleyball. And we have, ooh, oh, 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 oh my God, look at that one. Look at that one. I think her name is Carnival. Carnival, yeah, dude. <laughs> look at the, look at the foil on this. This is a, a secret. I think every box comes with a secret with a chance to get like a parallel. And I've never pulled a parallel. They're always worth a, a good chunk of money. Um, and there's also the sleeping girl cards, dreaming girl, I don't know what they're called. Those are worth a fortune, like hundreds of dollars. Uh, I've also obviously never pulled one of those either. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not all these characters are in the anime, by the way. Some of them are, um, most of them are not. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Carnival is in the anime. She doesn't look like that in the anime. What is going on here? I love We Cross TCG, dude. <laughs> that's, uh, that's some hardcore stuff there, man. Oh yeah, one of the coin cards. Coin is a me mechanic. Um, the lizard li lizard chimney sweep girl. Got some different art here. So I've got that rare before. <laughs> oh my God. She's got some bubbles, man. She's bubbly. She's bubbly. Ooh, I like this one, the little uh, 8-bit. Must be uh, that uh, that VTuber's like kind of thing. I don't know, I like the 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 little character, the sprite. I dig it. Um, what is, if you're watching this far, what is your favorite card so far? Is it Goop Girl? She's getting some Goop, goop port on her. Is it weird, <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, snake Girl, the Harpy Girl looks, I, I like the Harpy Girl. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. She's like, got she's targeting man. She's got some targeting systems. Got the little mink. I don't, I, guess, I don't know, man. I'm just gonna call it that. I'm just gonna call it that. Or do you like do you like carnival, or uh, any of the other ones? Hmm. We still haven't gotten a, a L rig rare LR. You also typically get one LR as well. So you typically get a secret and a LR in a box. Um, ooh, really, really love the art in that one. That is beautiful. So really, really like that. This is the kind of art style I would like to do for a Flesh and Blood, or a Red Zodiac playmat. I have two playmats in the works and I would like to get a third one done. That's kind of like, kind of like that. That looks really, really nice. And then we have a uh, Pyrrhaluk and also Pyrrhaluk. I'm not gonna explain it, but yep, they're both named Pyrrhaluk. Niji Sanji, ooh, yo, look at her, dude. Nice, she looks like she's ready to fight and yeah, yeah, yeah. Her clothes have been through, uh, been through it, man. Little, just like <laughs> little scraps. She reminds me of someone actually, um, like a like a Street Fighter character. I don't remember. I don't know. Still looks pretty cool. Probably my favorite of uh, these down here that we've gotten so far. Though, yeah, 
I still like her more. I don't know. Uh, my favorite character are, is not in the set. Ooh, I think we see some other shiny stuff back here. So that's probably gonna be the LR. So we have bu Bubbly Girl, uh, really, really cool, like Egyptian themed one. We have a Niji Sanji with also really good artwork. And then we have, ooh, hey, yo, that's really cool. So this is our LR. Um, I like this character. She's pretty cool. She is from the anime. And I like her too. I don't remember her name. <laughs> I, love the, I love the little face there. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. I, I Once again, I don't know how much this is worth, but I think it's actually really sweet. I put the Niji Sanji character where, where she goes. Yeah, really nice. So this will get a sleeve too. So I think those are the the guaranteed big hits. I don't know if like the sleeping character or if the um, the parallel takes the place of those when you're opening up packs. I, I really don't know, really not, because I've never pulled one. So uh, so I don't know. Get some different art here. Um, oh yeah, that one's really cool. Really like that one. Really really sweet. Uh, we have. Uh, Urith and is it Nanashi? There, there's another white haired character that I also really, really like. And we have this um, Niji Sanji character. I, I think it's Nanashi. Um, I don't remember the names, man. There's like a handful of characters that I, that I really like from, from this uh, from this IP. <laughs> we got, uh, she's just, it, is that a, is she smoking a thing like Caterpillar? I don't know, I'm getting like caterpillar vibes from that. So this is a rare. We have this one, which is pretty cool looking. We got an eye patch. We have a, she's a nun. <laughs> That's just, she's a nun. And then we, ooh, a foil. A foil, uh, like common Elrig card. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these are also some characters from the, uh, as I bump that, also some characters from the anime. Really nice. We only have three more packs left. So, Overall opinions, I'm actually really excited for this. I think it's a long overdue. I think there is a large market for this kind of stuff. I <laughs> like the art of this one too. Look <laughs> at all the little crushed ones. Uh, I think there is a market for this kind of stuff here in the United States, um, especially if they do not censor it. Um, I can, oh dude, yo, love that one. Really, really cool. She's got like this serpent snake thing. I dig it. I dig it quite a bit. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to get another super rare. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely think there's a market here in the US for it. So, especially with like VTubers becoming more popular, um, like a lot popular. So yeah, what do you think? Um, yeah, really, really cool art in that one. I imagine people are gonna fall in the two camps. People who like the art and really think this is sweet. Ooh, dude. So I think some of the um, the signed, which is what this is, the signed um, Niji Sanji cards are worth some money. I don't think this one is, but I think one of the ones I pulled before was one that was worth a, worth a little bit. Just a little bit. By a little bit, I think it was worth like 20 bucks or something, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, nice, put that there. And then the last pack. So yeah, it'll fall into two camps. One, you like the artwork and you think it's awesome. And um, you're like, of course, there's room for it. And two, you're like, nope, don't like it, not room. <laughs> I really think those are gonna be like the, the camps here. So we have another rare, she's just taking aim. We have uh, the little frost frost princess. We have a Niji Sanji character making, making a funny face. And then our final, ooh, got a rare for the final card. She's just got a, she's got a backpack, man. It's a weird backpack. Oh, it's a rare too. Nice. And so, yeah. We got, for this one, we got a, a couple common foils, this rare foil and this Elric foil. And then for these cards, how many supers did we get? We got five super rares. Beautiful, like absolutely beautiful, especially when you, you know, kind of take them in all together. We got like this uh, signature card. We got whatever. Whatever this one is, the uh, RE, I think you get one per box. And then we have the L rig card that's textured. And then of course, our secret card that is also textured. And just look at that, <laughs> look at that absurdity. So yeah, 
that is that. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this, what your favorite card was from, from this pull. Is it her? Is it her? Um, or is this one? I like this one a lot too. Thank you so much for watching everyone and we will see you next time for some more card game content. Probably not We Cross for a while, but you know, let me know, maybe, maybe I will, maybe I will. Have a good one all and we'll see you later.